give my book back. Give it back. You want it? Why will we? Yes. Why should we? Give it back. Yeah, sure. Give it back. Too slow, too slow. No. Hey, dude, check this out. Amazing. What is she doing? Look at that. <laughs> Send it to everyone. It's all over the place. <laughs> Send it to everyone. Oh hey, look, there she comes. <laughs> Shame on her. Did you see the picture? Slut. Such nice books you oh, have. Don't. Don't do that, don't do that, no, no! Oh, don't worry, I'm only gonna dump them on the floor. Mm -hmm. So, you want it? Yeah. I hope that really hurt. They're just playing, just a bit of rough and tumble. Kids will be kids. A boy wouldn't want a girl to help him. Children have to learn to defend themselves. Being bullied never did me any harm. 13% of 11-year-olds and 12% of 13-year-olds report being bullied at least twice a month. Large-scale surveys around the world report 6 to 27% of children have been bullied. 78% of those replying to a Council of Europe survey said they'd encountered online hate speech, 2012. Hey, come on. Come on. It's time to get up. Come on. Dad? You know, Dad, I want... Shh, shh, not now. I'm busy. Some kids are just born bad. Their poor parents can't do anything with them. Both bullies and their victims are more likely to underachieve at school. Research links bullying with drug abuse, criminal convictions, and harsh physical discipline of children who are in turn more likely to become bullies. Good morning. Okay. Thomas? Here. Philip? Here. Amelie? Here. David? Uh, is he not here? Victims suffer problems like depression, sometimes much later in life. William? Bye, Marie. Have a good day at school. Victims may be more likely to have suicidal thoughts or attempt suicide. A 13-year-old in Bourg-Saint-Maurice in France hanged himself after being bullied at school. Another 13-year-old, an Irish girl from Donegal, was thought to be the victim of cyberbullies before her death. Six weeks later, her 15-year-old sister committed suicide. There's nothing you can do anyway. There is something that can be done, and something is being done, orchestrated by the Council of Europe in Strasbourg. What is needed is fundamental change, a new type of school culture based on human rights and democracy to banish bullying from schools for good. The Council of Europe has many tools to show you how to do just that, like its charter to combat violence and discrimination in schools, especially bullying. Every year, the Council of Europe trains a thousand teachers across Europe in human rights and citizenship education. It also trains 5,000 youth leaders in its European youth centres in Strasbourg and Budapest and supports activities involving 15,000 young people. So we're going to do an activity together. I'm not going to tell you now what you're going to learn. We'll discuss it later. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. And you have to keep them close till I say, tell you when to open them. So, close your eyes. I 
and your task is this. You are going to form groups without speaking at all. Open your eyes, form your groups. This lesson raises awareness of the importance of not stigmatizing children who are in a minority or seen as different. Okay, children, very well done. You worked really well. I want us to start to talk about what we just did. Why did you make the groups you made? When you put the stickers on, we understood that if we had to make groups, the stickers had to do with the groups. So the stickers kind of told us which groups we had to be in. You made an assumption, actually, that you had to group because you had a blue square or a red square or a yellow square or Paul Xavier with just the white square. What did you understand by their reactions? Well, I understood that I was white. Did you also understand no one else was white? Yeah. And what were you thinking about that? It's weird because everybody is in a big, quite a big group, so... And, wh and where did you feel you could go? Well, by myself somewhere. Has anyone ever been in a real situation, not this classroom situation now, where that they, and they would like to tell us how it feels or you think how someone would feel? A long time ago, nobody wanted to play with me because of my colour of skin. Now, now it's really fine, but... Um, Why is it now fine? I... I try to explain that... Uh, how it is when you're rejected and... I found some people which are really nice to me and which don't mind my colour of skin. Because they know you, the, the lovely person that you are. Yes, definitely. What difference do lessons make? Bullying will always go on. to you. Yeah, Sophie's right. I'm telling this to the school council on Friday. What is she doing? Look at that. <laughs> you send it to everyone. I'm sending it to Oh my god. Why would they do that? That is so mean. It's so freaking mean. Look, did she come? Maya, look at this. Look, they've posted these photos. Oh no, look at what they've written underneath. Don't worry, we'll get them taken down. Our teacher warned us about this in classes today. Hey Maria, you check your phone? This is pathetic. You'll be really sorry about this. Come on guys, let's go. Everything is different because the silent majority have spoken out. They've spoken out because they know what they are supposed to do, how to do it, and why they are supposed to do it. They believe in what they are saying and doing because they have been involved in discussions on dealing with exclusion and bullying. Now, the bullies are the ones who are isolated, not the victims, and even the bullies might think again and change. Beat bullying with these Council of Europe products, tools and campaigns. Democracy and human rights start with us. Democratic governance of schools. Composito. Passport to your rights. I have rights, you have rights. The campaigns No Hate Speech Movement and Building a Europe for and with Children.